Alexandre Kantorov, a French pianist, and I'm really excited because uh, this year I'm artist in residence with the Gerzen Nietzsche Orchestra, so you'll be seeing uh, quite a bit of me. I think the pieces we play uh, with the orchestra and, and François Xavier are or the Saint Sans Concerto and the Liszt Concerto here, they are all pieces that demand constant attention to color and drama. The Liszt Concerto is, is, is full of uh, moments of apocalypse where the, the whole scene collapses and there's, there's a lot of earth-shattering moments with the orchestra and the piano. But this is really one moment where Liszt turns the whole music down and it feels suddenly that you're in a Parisian salon and there's just only chamber music, the cello solo enters and piano accompanies. And then this sort of leader, improvised leader, turns into a sort of long improvisation where there's woodwinds that will interfere. And yeah, it's, it's only three, four minutes, but they, they, are, they are so meaningful in this sort of defying God piece. There's enormous amounts of music are happening in only 20 minutes. And in one part, it feels like one long improvisation. And so you, there's, there's never a moment where the, the, the music will feel heavy or just going and in, in nowhere. And at the same time, I, I love how it's constructed. It's very logical. It's uh, all based on the same motives. And just like Wagner's Ring, in these light motives, they all get transformed and shaped, shift. I'm so impressed of the, the way they react so fast and they, they feel that they are all very concerned about what's happening and, and at the same time they will adapt uh, very spontaneously to if we change something uh, and something is not planned. So I feel really uh, confident about what will happen because I feel very free.